because the body has to be bodying. Your girl has to look hot. It's my first date night with her husband. I have to look hot for him. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vicky James and I'm back. I feel like I legit do one day on, three months off or six months off YouTube and I think that's a very bad habit that I need to change because I really want to do YouTube but it's just a lot of work considering everything that i do but lately i've been seeing my instagram fan my vj army i've been seeing you guys complaining on instagram and just encouraging me to do youtube so i can post longer videos for you guys so basically i'm about to do a get ready with me for date night it's basically our first official date night after our wedding and after our honeymoon and um yeah we're still gonna have another official first date night <laughs> because today we're not having this date night alone today we got invited by the thompsons for date night so i'm about to get ready you guys <clears throat> i'm in ghana um we came for moses and maris's um wedding ceremony and the wedding was yesterday um today i was so tired i planned to start my makeup at 2 p.m and guys, it is, I don't have a phone to check the time here. And there's no wall clock in this room. It's legit almost 4.30 in the afternoon. And I'm here, just about to start my makeup. It takes a lot to do these things. I'm tired. I'm supposed to go to this place without any makeup. My hair is fine as far as I'm concerned. I don't have my hair straight now or my coiler here to do anything. But I'm just gonna try to manage what I have. I feel like it's nice it's just gonna look like a messy short bob that's not bobbing enough or a messy short wavy hair that's just crying for help <laughs> i hope my makeup just covers and makes everything come out well so basically i want you guys to get ready with me for date night with the love of my life with the thumpsins and i legit have 20 minutes or let me say 15 minutes to get this makeup done i don't know how that would work i don't know how possible it is but do you guys think i'm glowing because i think i am i think i am i think my body needs to glow just like my face my body needs to glow even more so i'm gonna put this tom ford shimmering body oil on my body so i can glow for you guys okay yo like i'm so excited that i'm um, gradually getting back on youtube so i feel like <clears throat> i've been so pressed about how my youtube channel should be how i have to have how i have to have you know like a proper professional setup with the cameras and the light and how there has to be someone i have a content person you know employed that makes my videos sometimes even if i get to edit them myself because you just cannot satisfy vg okay so because i see sometimes when i post videos that it's just like the editing is just crazy my vj army on instagram will just be like oh wow the person that edited this video needs a raise if only you guys know that it takes me to finish dressing up and sometimes recording this video myself and then sit down and edit the video myself but i have someone that could have done that for me but i just cannot be satisfied when it comes to content <laughs> i like doing stuff myself okay guys so let me quickly get my makeup done and leave all this plenty talk before i go late for this date night mrs thompson has literally begged me begged my husband to make sure that i'm not late as usual for this date night and thankfully i'm not in nigeria today if i was i would have been so scared because even if i didn't want to be late something must have happened and i'll be late even that my workers will call me that there's one urgent work that needs my attention something must happen at some point i started feeling like ah did they swear for me 
that I can't be early to anything. And I promise them that I'll be there before seven. I have to take pictures, make videos of my look today because it's very important to me. I document every sleigh. I know they play with them. And I'm sure you guys know that already. So, sometimes people wonder why why and how I have the time to to do all these things, like to do content, to dress up and make sure I take videos and pictures. I feel like it takes a lot right now in this day and time. It takes a lot to get ready. It takes a lot to, to dress up. It actually costs a lot to dress up. And I love the fact that it costs a lot because I know I've always been this kind of girl. I've always been this kind of girl. If you followed me right from my Facebook days, you will already know I've always been this person. I wonder why people are surprised now. I feel like it's the new people that are just getting to know me. I've always been this girl, even when I didn't have shishi in my account. When I wear anything, I enjoy taking pictures of them. When I look back at my throwback pictures, I'm like, girl, you've always been a slayer you know and it's because because i documented all these things because i took pictures you know like pictures and videos i love them so much because you can these are the things that remind you of certain occasions the things that remind you of you know places that you've been you know situations you've been in places you lived at you know just different phases of life and you know every day just goes by Every day goes by and these are the things that just makes you remember, you know, just every phase of your life, where you've been and everything. I document everything. I document everything. Like it's so, it's so important to me, to be honest. When I'm thinking of, and I'm thinking of, oh, I've been at this place before. This was what happened. I don't even need to think about it. Once I'm going through my pictures of like two years ago, I just start smiling because they start reminding me of different things that's happened in my life, places that I've lived, you know, people that I've dated and everything. It reminds me of where I've been and where God has just brought me to. And sometimes just looking at vi videos that, you know, videos of when I was just so happy, you know, it just reminds me that life is good. So sometimes when people wonder why, you know, when people wonder why so someone is so extra with these things, because that's what they say. Say, oh, your overdue is too much. You're too extra. And I'm just like, you guys don't understand. I'm just so excited. It's not easy to be alive. Do you understand? Like, I'm so grateful to God. And I feel like this is another way where I can just let God know that. I'm grateful. I'm happy for the life that he's given me. I'm excited. I'm not sad. I'm satisfied. Do you understand? Like, I'm satisfied in every phase of my life. I've always been a happy girl. Whether I have or no gets, as long as I'm alive, there's hope. I'm just always so excited. And I feel like that's why, that's why, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that God is happy when he blesses me, when he makes me successful, when he comes through for me. He's happy because he knows I will not keep quiet about it. I will not act like he hasn't done enough. I will be grateful. I will be happy every phase of my life. I'm always happy. This is me. I'm not going to change for everyone. And I just hope that my VJ army know. Like, I hope that my VJ army learn some things from me because I'm the kind of person that I don't live my life for anyone, right? You cannot dim my lights. I know that I shine, like I'm a star that shines. I'm a shining light. <laughs> I can't dim my light for anyone, except God says otherwise. And I know that's not God, what God wants for me. God wants me to be happy. I'm a happy girl, okay? So if you're watching this video, don't forget to be happy. Most people are happy when they live their life when they live their lives so privately not everyone wants to record anything so this is not a call to say oh stop no but let people be let people live their life be happy 
make sure that you are happy that is what is most important don't live your life for anyone don't let people's idea of you or people's opinion of you detect how you live your life if you have to change how you behave because of what people say about you that is clearly not true then there's something wrong it is important to sometimes check and see okay this thing that these people are saying about me this that people are saying about me is it true is it something i need to look at is it something i need to look out for is there something i need to change that's why there's constructive criticism but sometimes when people say some things about you or how you are or how you live your life you just know that it's just coming from a place of pain from a place of just like you know the people are not just happy sometimes it's not like they hate you sometimes they're not just very happy you know and people don't really know how to not everyone came from a background where they can teach you to be satisfied do you understand so when when, when people who are not satisfied with who they are you know they're not you know thinking about getting making themselves better they're just unhappy then they can come and start pouring such negativity on you and this is why it is important to know yourself this is why it's important to you know be someone who is so sure and confident in what they do so that you're not really moved by what people say and even sometimes when you feel like okay you need to look at this thing that's why you need god that's not why you need god so you can talk to god god is the only person that can mold you and still love you at the same time so live a life where you are confident when you do something own it a life where you're confident and you know what it's it's not like i've always been this kind of person i've made mistakes i've learned from them there's nothing as important as making mistakes learning from them forgiving yourself and moving on oh my god forgiving yourself is so important i remember a time when i was so so angry with myself as something that I did and it was not like it was intentional it was just like I was triggered by you know someone triggered me and I did did something that wasn't even something that was bad like I just didn't like that the person could make me do that the person could make me so angry that I could do that do you understand so forgive yourself because it's even you you are the one that can even kill yourself the more not what people see or not what people think about you so yeah be happy be happy live a happy life it is so important it's so 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 important to live a happy life live a happy life and be content be content be content be content does not mean that you should not work hard of course work hard work hard but know that life is in stages and it will not happen at as you want it it will happen so fast it will happen so so fast believe god every stage of your life always believe god he is the only one he's the only one that has the key to every phase of your life to everything that you're hoping for and be satisfied don't because when you're not satisfied you start envying other people you won't even know when envy will start going in your heart and that's one thing that god hates the most be satisfied when you are satisfied you will know that ah, that means you know that your future is different from what is happening right now you know you know that your, your future is guaranteed god has a good plan for you you don't have to be bothered about what people have and what you don't have god is preparing you god is probably preparing you for you know for a different phase of your life he wants you to be prepared for it so be satisfied in every moment I know it's not easy seeing people do living the kind of life that you want there are people who are living the kind of life that i want but am i satisfied where i am of course i am do i want to do better oh of course i will do better of course i'm doing i'm working hard to be better to you know to be more successful i'm a sucker for success <laughs> you guys have no idea the kind of life i've seen myself living in the next 10 years you guys have no idea like I want to retire early and just be traveling the world with my husband and my children. Okay, that's why I'm working hard now. But do I envy anyone's life? Absolutely not. Never. I don't want anyone's life. I love my life. It is important to love your life. It's so, so important. So, so important. I feel like this is going to be a very long video and I don't want it to be too long. So should I stop talking now? So we're going out, 
with the Thompsons. And let me just tell you guys how I met the Thompsons and how they became family to me. I love them so much that people who who encouraged me to be a good Christian and people who encouraged me to keep pushing, you know, in my work with God. The Christians who will not judge you, both behind you and both in front of you, they will not. The people who would love you regardless of the situation, regardless of the mistakes that you make, right? They are good Christians and that's how a Christian should be. I say that with so much confidence because I've met a lot, lot of people, but these people are different. They love me so much and I love them so much. Mrs. Thompson is like a sister to me and she's been the best. She's been so nice. She's been so supportive. She's been so encouraging, you know, they're really nice people. And I'm so excited and privileged, you know, honored. Myself and my husband are so be honored to be, you know, having dinner with them. I mean, we've hung out a few times myself and them. You know, when I was in London, we had we had a good time. They're real people. You know, there's no time to form, and I feel like that's why we bond a lot. That's why we click. There's no time. Like I don't understand. There's no time. There's nothing in this life. No time to the carry body. No time. Like no time. But all pencils, pencils in the hands of God, these are people who understand that. They don't look down on people. They are humble. They are nice. Humble to a fault. Nice. They will share with you what they have. They are good people and I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for them. I really hope they see this video because I'm always not able to tell them how, how much I love them or how much, how much they've inspired me. Um, Victor Thompson is the husband, Mr. Victor Thompson, he's so nice, he's like the very first minister that came for Zion worship, the worship program that I organized, is the first minister that came for Zion worship and refused to take a dime from me. So it's not like I pay the ministers that come, of course not. After Zion worship, after Zion worship, I usually just want to say, oh, thank you, you know, thank you for coming all the way, you know, just to appreciate them you know but he's the first person that i said sir please i'd like to say thank you he said no 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 no. i don't want any of that he refused i even went back to ask his wife she said oh please vicky please don't put me in trouble don't do that my husband doesn't want that this does not mean this doesn't this doesn't mean that this is how it is everywhere that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that the fact really encouraged me it really reminded me that look there's nothing in this life there's nothing money cannot money is not everything you know sometimes you know is he just really 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 inspired my christian faith and everything and i love them so much i'm excited to go and have dinner with them i hope that i hope that my waist there will be space for me to eat because i won't actually want to eat i actually want to eat and i hope i see good food today so I'm in Ghana. I don't want to. I've had Ghana jollof too much. I don't want to have Ghana jollof again today. I hope they have something else that I can actually eat. I really, really hope so. So, you guys, you guys have asked me to come back on YouTube. You guys need to tell me what you want me to talk about on my YouTube videos. Give me ideas, please. I beg you. Give me ideas. Tell me what you want me to talk about in my YouTube videos. Tell me what you want to hear. Ask me some questions that I can answer on my YouTube channel because <laughs> trust me, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna be doing here, but I want to I want to do this. I want to be here, you know. I want to do better on YouTube. So please ask me questions, you know, let me know what you want me to talk about sometimes, what you guys want to ask me, what you guys want to hear from me. I love sharing with you guys. So please please tell me suggest suggest anything that you feel like would be good you guys want to hear something that would inspire you guys something you guys can learn from i'm happy to do all of that so guys i'm just gonna go off now finish my makeup so i can be fast because i'm taking too long and then i'll show you guys what i'm wearing and then i'll show you guys everything that's gonna happen at the date night not everything I'll show you guys when we get to the restaurant. I'll show you guys the Thompsons. I'll show you guys what we're gonna eat. And we'll just take nice pictures and take nice videos. All right, I'll be back. Hi guys. So I'm done with my makeup. Um, I'm not wearing lashes because uh, it's actually stressful. I don't have time. 
so i'll just go ahead and show you guys what i'm wearing out tonight so guys today i'm going to be wearing this dress from bbo style like there's some elements in this dress that i really like this little drape here like a tiny drape here the um some tiny pleats up here at first i thought this was the front of the dress because it has like a cow neck because it's actually a cow neck but then i realized that the label is actually here so this is the back of the dress that's like a very pretty detail that i like so the back is sort of low back not very low back like bra length low back and then the front is a high neck it's got this pleats it's got the drapes and i like the fact that the drape is also at the back i really like all these tiny details in dresses and i'm so excited to wear it the fabric is so soft it's got shimas on it that's why i'm going to be wearing it with these shoes and these dimitri shoes that i wore for my child wedding i'm gonna be pairing it with this cute dimitri bag because it works as a set so i'm gonna be wearing this bag and i'm gonna be wearing my wedding ring and these valentino earrings yeah i'm gonna be wearing this perfume so much by dior the new fragrance called elixir and there's another exciting thing i'm gonna be showing you guys the shape wear that i'm gonna be wearing in that dress because the body has to be bodying your girl has to look hot it's my first date night with a husband i have to look hot for him okay well i'm going to be wearing this shape wear from body temple temple body ng on instagram i've actually worn their brand a while ago before they sent me these and yo trust me the fabric it's firm it's got a space down here in case you need to pee it's got a zipper in front it's got everything i feel like it's going to do the job which is snatch me you know my second name is snatch it's gonna do the job so guys i'll get dressed out and i'll come back and show you guys what the entire look looks like so guys i just put on this dress can you see how cute this dress looks so this fabric is this dress is a bit free it's not gonna look free on me when i you know when you actually see the full thing but i can feel it that it's free so if I was wearing something that's really firm, you'd have seen like how tiny my waist is, like how this body shape makes my waist to be tiny. And if I was in Lagos, I would have shaped the waist of this shape way again. So I would have been even more snatched because I, I still feel like very comfortable, like I'm not wearing anything. So, yeah. Just imagine that I'm shaping it again. For my girls that like to snatch, for my girls that like to snatch. This is the perfect one for you. Oh my god, I love this dress so much. I love this dress so much. It's so soft, like it feels like I'm not even wearing anything. It's so comfortable. I keep hitting this TV. I hope it doesn't fall off. And you ask me to pay for TV in Ghana. I beg you. Okay. Yeah, I still think possible. Right. No, I did. I'm almost done. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be early for not the first time in my life. Let me be honest, like I'm actually early sometimes. I've been early to a few events. Please, I've been early to a few places that you've invited me to. Please, if I've been early to your events and you can see this video, please leave a comment to you know testify, to attest to what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm ready. To go out and party, not party, to go out and eat and enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm actually ready before Mr. Terry today. Wow, he will not hear the last of it. I'm ready before him. I'm excited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And just so that it looks better. Idiot come, sir. Huh? How the hell did you come? You said idiot come now. What did you say idiot come, sir? Okay, idiot. 
<laughs> I'm fine, sir. So guys, we're literally just at the reception waiting oh, oh, for... Yeah. Go, go, on, go on slab, go on slab, you need to slab. <laughs> waiting for our Uber. Wisdom, you need to slab. And Fem is on the phone with my cousin and the dad and my uncle. Ch Chululu, Chululu. <laughs> so she's South African. She's Our mom is South African, so when she wants to say I want to sleep, Chululu. she'll say I want to slab. I don't know if that's like an African thing. So if you're South African, please let me know if that's, yes, uh, if that's how they say sleep in Africans. They say slab. Hi, baby. So guys, we're here. We go here at exactly 6.49. So I'm so excited that I'm on time. Thanks Nina starts you. at 7. Thanks to you, babe. I was waiting for you. You guys, I got ready before this man. I had to text Mrs. Thompson to say I'm literally at the reception of the apartment waiting for Femi. I'm ready, like for the first time in history. I was ready before him. Not actually the first time, but it's not actually the first time. Sometimes I'm always ready before you. Stop lying. Say the truth now. Say the truth. Just say thank you, babe. Don't thank you for what? I'm not ready on time because of you. Why, why, why are men like this? You guys, can you guys see all the shimas in this dress? Like, yo, baby, old style. Her, I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I've texted Mrs. Thompson and we're waiting for her at the reception. I cannot wait to eat, to be honest. If this secret stop me, I remove it. But I'm comfortable. I think I'm going to be fine. <laughs> so there they come. <laughs> <laughs> brought who? Nami brought a move. Sis, why do I feel like this dinner was for like eight? But well, you have to tell me seven. No, so no, 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 it's for seven. Okay. <laughs> no, we knew you. 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 We knew I know, right? I can't eat. I think I'm going to get a What's, can you tell us what's, what you brought to us today? Thank you. Lemon what? Lemonade. Lemonade. And, apple. Lemonade. and, and apple. what's this one? Orange, Orange juice. juice. Okay. Thank you so much. We have apple juice. Yeah. Yes, okay. please, can we get that? <laughs> see, see how this is your order. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> Orange juice. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you say, I will spoil you this life. You <laughs> more like spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're the best man oh. in this life. I will spoil you. I will fly you over the world. Chai. Oh. Hi, guys. So it's the morning after. Um, we were too excited last night. I forgot to make videos you know to show you guys but um we had fun we had we enjoyed ourselves we had a good time you know thompson's gave us marriage advice since they've been in they've been married for almost five years and um we had so much fun and i enjoyed filming this video for you guys and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well don't forget to let me know what 
you guys want to see on my youtube channel what you guys want me to talk about from time to time and i'll definitely look into it and get to work thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button like share repost subscribe <laughs> comment and do everything that you need to do to encourage me okay so i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now